we are passengers coming from places like Mararaba, Masaka and Kefi will have to join the high capacity buses to the FCT. This point used to be a rendezvous for commercial mini bus operators plying the Nyanya FCT road. But right now, the story has changed. I feel so bad. The, the issue of the transport is affecting us too much. So I, I call on government that they should do something about it. This transport policy appears new to these road users in the FCT. I'm going to area one. And I came from New Nyanya. I get here to around to eight, I'll be after eight. That's when I get to Nyanya Sports here. And since that time I never entered because of the the line. The line issue, that is what is delaying. We came all the way from Masaka. Every five will not go to Masaka again. We have to pay transport here and pay transport to the town. It is, it's not easy. We are not finding it easy. It's very difficult. There's no riot, nothing. People are complying. See soldiers there, civil defense, you see my colleague. Everything is moving fine. In fact, they are complying. There's no problem. To the FCT administration, it's not a new order. The authorities say the policy has been in the original design of the FCT master plan, which was designed by the International Planning Association and approved by the federal government in 1979. The policy stipulates that only licensed high-capacity buses are allowed to operate mass transit services in the federal capital city. While the private commercial mini buses are to operate at the satellite towns and other council areas. Call that in January 14, we we're supposed to have kick started this uh, policy. But because the, the um, self employed bus owners said that they needed more time to be able to acclimatize.